ever wonder how conductors, librarians, and arts admins get info about the great works in the orchestral repertory? It's through Daniel's Orchestral Music, a reference book that has been around and growing for about 50 years. My name is Dr. Dominique Royam, and I'm a music director, conductor, and music communicator here to help you achieve a deeper connection to the music you love. Follow me on social media at DominiqueRoyam.com for more content. I'll take you on a tour of the new sixth edition in this video. Daniel's Orchestral Music is the reference book of reference books for conductors, music directors, art admins, librarians, and anyone else that needs to track down information on orchestral music. The bulk of the work is entries about specific works of orchestral music. Each entry has all the information you might need to program a work on a concert, such as orchestration or what instruments need to play the work, a list of movements, timings of the whole work and individual movements, and a list of publishers which you can buy or rent the work. All of the information you need to see if you can program a work or find a work for rental or purchase is all right in the book. What began as a small project to create a repertory list book for orchestral music in 1968 bloomed into a reference work with six editions and a corresponding website. In 1972, the first edition of orchestral music was published with 2,600 entries. The newest edition, the sixth, was published with over 14,000 entries. Its growth was attended to by David Daniels, conductor, and entrusted to conductors David W. Ortel and David A. Ronby when Daniels retired and then passed in 2020. The system of the book and the website combined several other catalog systems used by major orchestras around the country and quickly absorbed and supplanted them. Daniels Orchestral Music is now the primary resource for information about orchestral works. There are two ways to use the book. The first and easiest is if you know what work you want. You can look it up via its composer and title and find out instrumentation, timings, and where to procure the work. If you don't have a specific work in mind, you can check the appendices. You can look up lists of works by if they require a chorus or solo voices or solo instruments, works listed by instrumentation in case you're trying to add material to a program centering on a specific work, or works by duration in case you're looking to find a work of a certain length to complete your program. Under Appendix E, the durational list, the works are listed by duration and broken down into nationalities. Say, for example, you're looking for a 15-minute work by an American composer to complement your American music concert. You go to Appendix E and jump to the 11 to 15 minute duration part of the list. American Music is up first, so you peruse the list for something interesting. Let's say Coolidge Pioneer Dances stands out to you, so all you have to do is go to the main part of the book, the individual entries, to see all of the information for this work. You find out the work was written in 1980 and has versions for string, chamber, and large orchestra, and you can rent it from Peer. If you don't know the publishing house peer, all the publisher information is listed in another appendix, Appendix L. Looking at that appendix, you can tell that peer's U.S. agent for rentals is Subito. Jumping to that listing, you can find the rental email that you can contact to get a quote on rental fees. You should also check to see if peer is in the Zinfonia network, which it is. All you do is search for the composer's last name, and the listing for Pioneer Dances will come up right up in both full and chamber orchestra versions. Sinfonia is the easiest way to get a hold of the publisher. The process of using appendices A to D is the same. Another great way to access information in the book is through Appendix E, the title index. It lists distinctive titles of compositions in alphabetical order, so you can look up a work by its title if that's all you know about it. It doesn't have general titles, like Symphony No. X, unless they have been changed into a specific title, like Symphony of Psalms. For example, if you look up the title Casey at the Bat, you can immediately tell there are two versions, one by Proto and one by Schumann. Just look up the one you'd like or compare the two entries and choose the one that fits best. 
One of the appendices that I use the most is Appendix F, works intended for youth concerts. It includes categories such as stories told with music, descriptive music, introductions to the orchestra and instruments, explanations of various aspects of music, and other pieces primarily for children that do not address any of the other subjects. The usual suspects are here, like Carnival of the Animals, The Young Person's Guide, and Peter and the Wolf, but there are other gems as well. I've had good reactions to The Composer is Dead, which has its own picture book, Doodles, variations on Yankee Doodle through the orchestra's instruments, or Be a Conductor, where you teach the audience to conduct a work. I look forward to programming the myriad of other options available in the 6th edition. Check out the new 50th anniversary 6th edition of the Daniels Orchestral Music. I think that the new 6th edition is a great jump forward for the Daniels Orchestral Music book. Even if you have the 4th or the 5th edition, there's enough new in the 6th to pay off the purchase cost. You can get a copy from Roman and Littlefield Publishers for $155 for the hardcover, like this, or $95 for the digital edition. A link will be in the description box below. You can also get a subscription to Daniel's Orchestral Music Online to search digitally. They have a free 30-day trial that gives you full access to the site. I would suggest the hardcover book because there's nothing like just rummaging through the pages and coming upon something new and inspiring. You lose that ineffable process when just searching online. Thank you for joining me in this review of Daniel's Orchestral Music 6th Edition. Links will be in the description box below. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. What do you want to learn about next? Leave me a comment down below. You can also support the making of these videos on Patreon. These videos take over 20 hours of research to complete, so Patreon is a great way to show your support. Interested in seeing my process? I document it on my social media, so follow me for more updates. My handles are listed below. Thanks again and see you in my next video.